Hi everyone, welcome to Slippery Chicken Barbecue, where it's all about barbecue and what you crave to eat. Today, we're slow cooking a brisket on the Weber, so stick around. Make that be a movie, okay? Alright, to prep our brisket, I'm going to be uh, injecting it today with a, uh, this is a garlic rosemary injector seasoning. And uh, this is nice because it injects throughout the whole needle. I'll have to pull it out. I do a little bit, but this really uh, gets through all the meat. Doesn't take very much, and uh, to, I'm, I'm going to leave the, the fat cap on because we're going to be uh, slow cooking it today. So get uh, some of this liquid on there. Yeah, laying around here because I'm also going to put uh, this is a uh, garlic lovers steak seasoning. So we'll uh, spread that on too. Outside. All right. So, get the grill ready, and uh, we'll be back. Okay, today's setup, I'm going to be using the Smokinator, and I heated up uh, 8 to 10 bricks. Uh, get things started here. Get some water in here. Okay, I have the grill at uh, 230 and I want to cook today between 225-250. So it's really ideal right now. I'm gonna get uh, our brisket on. And uh, I like to cook it uh, fat side up. So I'm gonna add uh, Top off the water. This is what uh, really keeps the smokinator uh, effective. It keeps the, cool, the temperature cool here in the grill. So, we're going to be cooking probably for a good six hours today. So, we'll see. We'll check on it here and there. Okay, we're about an hour in. Let's see how things are going. Temperature's going up a little bit. I can see the water pan has gone dry here a little bit, so we'll get that going. I don't know if I mentioned earlier, I forgot to mention, uh, but I'm barbecuing, uh, smoking with uh, cherry wood chips. I do this for the first couple hours, not too much more. Okay, let me get this closed back up.
and uh, we'll check on it again. All right, we're a couple hours in to see how we're doing. Oh, things are looking wonderful. Gonna add some more water to the pan. I'm also gonna turn things around, do some even cooking. Keep that fat cap up though. And uh, I'm going to give these uh, charcoal a stir. We're about three hours in. I'm gonna check on it here. A little bit, about a half hour ago, I added some more charcoal. Had my temperature drop, so. And I'm just gonna add some water here. Things are looking good. We're at about 143 internal temperature. At 150, I'm gonna wrap it up in tin foil. So, we'll be back checking on it again. Alright, I'm at an internal temperature of 150 degrees. So I'm going to take this and wrap it. Well, I like to wrap it at 150 degrees. Helps you get past that, that, uh, that point in the meat where uh, it likes to stall at around 160. If you uh, do this at 150 degrees, once you get past that, plus uh, I uh, up to put some liquid in here so we can get ju nice and juicy. This is the injection marinade that I put in, rosemary garlic. Pour about a quarter cup of that in there. I'm also gonna add some parquet butter. And get this wrapped up nice. back on the grill and uh, cook this till I get an internal temperature 200 degrees. That's more water here so I can maintain 230 degrees. Okay. okay, we'll be back. Check on it in about another hour. Looks like the rainstorm's coming in. Alright, well, due to a thunderstorm that rolled in I had to bring things up to the house inside I uh, actually because it rained a little bit uh, had to grill or a barbecue went for about six and a half hours so I went about a half hour longer than I planned but things are uh, smelling good here doing the big doing this reveal oh yeah oh, look at that it just looks wonderful
See all those good looking liquid. Hot. All right, so yeah. You want to slice against the grain, so oh, does that look wonderful or what? Oh, this looks awesome. Just falling apart good. Oh, that tastes awesome. That's definitely super chicken approved.